the superstore always has the cutest things like look at these i think these are a bit too deep for me i would get them they kind of have like a rock look to them but very very minimal and they're all on sale i think they have the large i think i'm getting this one the smaller plate this one over here 3.98 like how pretty it's they have the darker like khaki i'm gonna like show amy because i'm gonna see if she wants them okay this is cute so i'm also getting this cup like look at this how can i leave that behind hello babes i just got home from grocery shopping and i was at the superstore and they had the cutest things you guys saw those dishes and I got, I'm going to show you guys which ones I got. And I got one for Amy. And I'm also going to show you guys what I got at the grocery store. And we're going to be cooking. Did you guys see that fire recipe in the thumbnail? I kind of like randomly was like, you liked that chimichurri steak from Copacabana. Why don't you make steak with chimichurri sauce over it? So, so we're going to be cooking that tomorrow together. Um, I bought the flank steak and everything that I need to make the recipe, but it's gonna be so fire you guys And I'm already eating a peach that I just picked up from the grocery store. So <laughs> We eat peaches now resting my arm on the canola oil that I bought my arm hurts man Like I've been I've been picking up heavy things if you're new to my channel Hopefully you enjoyed this video and subscribe also click that bell so you get notified for all of my brand new videos Hopefully I have no peach in my teeth while I'm like, welcome to my channel. Also follow me on IG, it is at Steph and she must So on my way like down to kind of finish up grocery shopping, I found this mug and it's for hot and cold drinks. I find that the plastic ones, you guys, like the clear ones, they look great and everything, but eventually I feel like I have to throw them out. They don't get washed inside of the, um, the dishwasher as good. So I've been kind of going towards these guys more. And the top goes all the way back like this. It's super sleek and very minimalistic, which is why I loved it. Plus, right now in summer, it's like your water gets so hot so quickly. So it's going to keep it nice and cold for me. I got the cup, you guys. The cup was $2.98 on sale. Like, can you believe that? It's like basically going to the dollar store. And then I got the plate to match it. So it has like this very kind of like stone vibe you guys can see and I got the larger plate for Amy She wanted it as kind of like a serving plate. So I got some limes limon How do you guys say lemon then in Spanish because I noticed that you guys see limon and You guys don't have a different word for limes and I've heard like Spanish youtubers say like Oh, this is um like when they see a lemon they're like, oh, I don't I don't know how to say that So that always kind of confuses me. But anyways, you guys can let me know down below so I'm going to be doing a new recipe. This is basically fake crab lobster kind of meat um, that I'm going to be using for a new recipe that I'm going to be doing that I'm so excited about. I'm just kind of waiting until I really am craving it. This is going to be for our chimichurri. Then I just got some made rice over here. Like I do that sometimes. I'll buy like a ready-made like pasta salad on the side, rice on the side, so that all they have to do is just cook my meat so it's super quick. I'm kind of like craving this, you guys. I'm having so many cravings lately because I'm waiting for my cycle, so I tend to crave a lot of sugar. So I just like to have a little bowl of this. I also bought little scones. Um... I think they're caramel toffee scones from Fortino. So they're really super small and they're just like 80 calories. I got some AA batteries because my um, my lint machine thing needs some. And I got my turkey sausages in a hot Italian. They actually don't have these all the time. So when I see them, I do grab them there. And I ended up getting minute rice. I grew up with this rice, you guys. Like my mom would always make this rice. We would never really use the other one. It's super fast. It literally is done in five minutes. You can still flavor it just like any other rice. Um, and then I got some quick tie garbage bags because I need some more of those. This over here, I have to get you guys to try this because it is so good. Chili garlic sauce. And then I got some apple cider vinegar because the one that I have, I've had it for a very long time. And I decided to get the small one because I don't really use this like a whole lot. Then I got some canola oil because for our chimichurri, I'm not going to be using... Um, olive oil. I'm going to be using canola oil instead. I got soy sauce. So the soy sauce I bought last time, I absolutely hated it. Like I hated it so much, you guys. And at the superstore, I cannot find the VH sauce, like the regular soy sauce. So I have to go to another grocery store. And I also know about the other one with um, the amino acids. 
and I have a hard time sometimes finding that one too. So I know this one tastes good. It tastes really strong and kind of like when you go to an Asian restaurant or Chinese restaurant. This is the meat we're gonna be using for the chimichurri steak. This is flank steak. They've got these mini tortillas. Loved these last time when I made my carne asada tacos. I honestly prefer these over the corn ones. Like when I go out to have tacos, like authentic tacos, I'm fine with them, but I feel like at home the corn ones like they just break. I've warmed them up I've done what people have said and I find they just crack a lot easier Whereas these guys are very flexible. They're very soft even when you warm them up. They don't rip as easily I totally forgot that behind me there was more things So I got some baking powder because I need this for another recipe I'm gonna be doing in a new wedding in a day. I also got this kombucha tea I'm still trying different kombucha you guys so this is guava mango. This is a tea though. So I'm really intrigued to see like what this is gonna taste like. I got my almond milk of course because I was running low and I use it a lot for my iced coffees. And then last but not least, I've never bought in this, but this is something that HelloFresh introduced me to. Like, I learned so many things from them, you guys. I used this when I made the gnocchi recipe inside of the sauce, and it just, it brought the pasta sauce like four levels up. I feel like this is what made it taste like restaurant made. Hello, babes. You see them curls? Waves. Y'all see those? I actually just got a new, um, leave-in conditioner again if you guys want to follow my little wavy hair journey i'm going to be washing my hair probably sunday is like my normal washing hair day and i just put some more leave-in inside of my hair right now but i got one by cream of is it cream of nature it's from um walmart and then i got a new shampoo and conditioner that i cannot wait to try it's the giovanni 50 50 balanced shampoo and then the deep moisture conditioner so i'm gonna try that but this is a few days later after you guys saw me do groceries i actually did some more groceries today and i'm gonna be trying this out probably tonight this is the nest cafe gold cappuccino like watch this though let me click on my face so that it hold on Anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys a recipe that I did. I keep meaning to show you guys. I'm currently crossing my legs and like, <laughs> because the camera needs a little bit of a platform. And you think at my height at five foot one, I wouldn't have to do that, but I'm doing it. First thing you're going to need is your little blender. Well, it's a chopper that I have, KitchenAid. I love this one because you can puree things and you can chop things. I have some rice that I need yesterday. So we have leftover rice, which looks so good. So in here I used um, Sasson, the one with coriander and y'all already know those little packets. So I put like half a packet in there because I only made a little bit of rice. There's some cilantro in there. There's the cilantro I only put after the rice is done. And I use the five minute rice, you guys. It is so quick. Like I needed something very fast. And the chimichurri is very fast to make and so is the steak. You literally just grill your steak with salt and black pepper. And if you are a cilantro lover, you're going to love chimichurri. A little bit of garlic powder, some salt, but the sazon already has some salt, so just be careful. But I felt like I put a little bit of both. Um, I put some butter in here, just makes it like, mm, it just does something to it, y'all. Put a tablespoon of butter inside here. We're gonna need half a lime, black pepper, oregano is that how you guys say it in spanish oregano um then we're gonna need parsley i'm just doing these measurements by eye you guys but yeah of course the highlight of the show my cilantro so we're gonna be putting a lot more of that than we're putting i would say like double what we're putting in this one and a half ish clove of garlic the reason why i say that is because the second one is kind of small and this is really important too i got red pepper flakes do not confuse this with chili flakes the chili flakes are hot picante was so good with canola oil so i got that we're gonna be using some salt of course and we're going to be replacing it says to use like i think it said red wine vinegar or white wine vinegar i can't remember but i'm just gonna be replacing it with apple cider vinegar a little bit of water the reason why i'm adding some water is because Typically, it would take a lot of oil so that it gets very saucy, and that's kind of the wet part of the salsa. But because we're on a deficit, I don't want... I get very bloated with oil, so I like to use something else. I would say I like to add in... Oh, by the way, the cool thing about this blender chop, or whatever you want to call it, 
um, is that you can also add your oil in through here. So while it's blending, if I feel like it needs, you know, more oil or water, I can put it through here. There's two to three tablespoons inside of here, some water. So I'm going to slowly add in my water. So just half for now. And then our two pieces of garlic. The oregano is actually very, very important in this recipe. And I was actually shocked. But it mixed with the cilantro and I was like, wow. Two full tablespoons. Some black pepper. We're going to taste for salt, but I'm just going to put in some right now. I'd say half a teaspoon for right now. Some red pepper flakes. This also added color but it brought like a different dimension. So I feel like a full teaspoon of this. Apple cider, we're not gonna put too much. It's just gonna add a little thing to it. I'm gonna put the rest of my parsley inside of there. I like mine very strong in cilantro, so I'm gonna be putting some more. I feel like I'm picking from, uh, <laughs> picking off the head of the cilantro or something. You guys, it smells so good. Look how tiny these teaspoons are that came inside of my set that I got. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. We're gonna let this sit inside of the fridge. I feel like it lets the flavors all come together. So in the meantime, you guys, we're gonna make this new smoothie that I'm obsessed with. Um, I found it at Second Cup and I was like, hmm, let me just try it. I'm not a smoothie person, you guys, like at all but i have like the ones that i will drink you know what i mean i have ones that i've created and i'm like okay i can do this called almond almond date smoothie it's plant-based or some dates these ones say it has the pit in them i've never used dates before so i have to remove the pits out of these guys so i have a whole banana two dates i got this pack from walmart this is what it looks like california whole medjool dates i don't know these are the ones that they had so i got that cinnamon inside of there some flax i think i'm just gonna do that much kind of like a tablespoon and a quarter ish i typically freeze my bananas i chop them and i put them inside of a bag but these ones i bought fresh just because they did it fresh too so i wanted to kind of try it out myself okay we're gonna add i don't know how much almond milk and then because so the reason why i'm mentioning that I typically use frozen is because I wouldn't be adding any ice cubes to see what happens. I have a feeling I'm gonna need some more almond milk because it's okay, we'll just blend this up first and see. There's almond butter and I'm like, ew, take that out. I'm just not an almond butter fan. It's way too strong and nutty for me. So let's try this Oh, you guys. It's really good, by the way. Like, I'm very prude, but I just have to mention if you guys have problems going to the washroom, it's really good for that. So yeah, if you have problems going to the washroom, it's gonna help you. The dates are gonna help you. The flaxseed is gonna help you. The banana. Let me give you guys a better view of it. Yes. I do not like really sweet fruits. So that's why I figured this smoothie would be okay for me. And this is the cup I'm gonna be using. If it looks kind of dirty, you guys, that's a part of the cup because it has like um, a frosted kind of look to it and it also has these little like Droplets on the inside like it looks kind of like there's water on the inside and I got these new glass straws I feel like it all looks aesthetic, you know Perfect like portion two. I don't remember if I told you guys but I didn't have lunch So this has basically enough calories Typically like my lunch. I had a big breakfast. So plus I had my Starbucks drink Ooh, girl yeah, I haven't had lunch, so you can also do things like this, um, have smoothies for lunch. See, for me, it's the perfect amount of sweetness. Like, I don't like really, like, you know those really fruity smoothies? Girl, no. No, 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 no. It's not for me. Like, no. Damn, this leave-in conditioner was good. Watch yourself. <laughs> Thumbnail pose. I want to say a huge 
thank you hopefully every single babe that ordered from my website is watching this there's literally like one product left on my website still some necklaces left if you guys want to check them out i have the guadalupe um, necklace and the Mary necklace as well and I actually gave away to one of you so it's gonna be a surprise when you open your package so I'm super excited for you to get it and yeah but thank you to every single baby that ordered from my website if you guys want me to restock comment down below it is 8 30 right now 8 28 so I just have my griddle over here I got this recently from uh, Amazon and I've been using it every time I make steak or grilled chicken. It makes a big difference My secret is I keep it on like medium-high even like a little bit closer to high Because to get the rare you want it to really warm up each side Kind of more aggressive so that the interior like yes, it gets a little bit cooked But it doesn't really get cooked all the way through like well done, right? Stomach is growling. I love using this which is seasoned salt. It is by Clubhouse and this is what my dad also uses on the barbecue. Yes! So I like to leave it for a few minutes. I like to do a little peek, you know, you're not really supposed to, but I like to peek underneath and then flip it over. I put it on the sides and everything because this was a really thick steak. Y'all see those grill marks? So I have it on its side right now. This thing is thick. Uh, and you can tell when it's still bouncy, the meat, when you like push down on it. That's how you can tell how rare it is. Like the well done will not have any bounce to it. And by the way, take out your chimichurri out of the fridge right now. You don't want it to be too cold. And then I just have my rice that I'm plating up over here and we're gonna warm it up so that everything can be nice and warm. I like to have my steak already cut because I like to eat it by my, like when I'm watching shows and stuff like that. So now we're just going to be putting over our chimichurri sauce that I've let kind of sit here. But I like how everything else is hot, but this kind of like chills down the meal a little bit. And I did put a little bit more lime because I love what it adds. It just makes it so super fresh. I don't like this salsa. Like I don't like cold things on top of my rice. I only like like hot gravy and stuff like that on top of my rice. But I do like to put a little bit of extra chimichurri on the ends because... I end up like um, dipping my steak into the sauce but mm, you can have these meals on a calorie deficit that's why I always show you guys what I eat because I think a lot of people still are shocked that you can be on a deficit and eat these things you 1000% can this rice is fire make sure you guys try it out I told you guys how I made it I'm probably gonna have one of that a little bit later um, it's basically 8 50 right now so that was pretty quick to kind of prepare especially when your rice is already done i'm gonna go eat this up you guys and that's basically it for this vlog hopefully you guys enjoyed do not forget to subscribe also click the bell to get notified for all of my brand new videos and also don't forget to follow me on ig it is at step g macedo watch as well thank you guys so much for watching and i will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video